In this video we're going to take a look at if else. So we'll take this program here and it's important of course to make sure you've got a working version of this before enlarging it further. I'm going to go to the last line in this code block here that the if applies to. So we'll go to the next line and I'm going to delete the indent and write else colon. And here let's say print your name is not John or whatever you want to write there. So what does this do? Well, it's probably fairly self-explanatory. If this condition is true, this code will be executed. If this condition isn't true, this code will be executed. So this if else statement only ever executes one of the two code blocks. It's either going to execute this if the condition's true or this if the condition's false. Let's try it out. Enter your name, John, and it says, your name is John, hello. And then program finished, of course, always executes because it's not part of this if else statement. And if I type some other name, it's gonna say your name is not John or whatever you've put here and program finished again. Notice that the else has to be flush up against the left-hand margin, whereas the code in the else block, the else code block, that has to be indented by however much you've decided to indent things by. So I've been using four spaces, therefore this must be indented by four spaces also, otherwise you'll get a syntax error. And we've got a colon here as well, after the else keyword. Try it out for yourself, and if you can think of any way to experiment with it, that will usually help to improve your understanding. A simple thing you could do is just add more lines right here into the else clause. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and machine learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.